Good morning, Tim Sykes here. Wanted to do a video just to close up October and try to help you do better in November. You know, no matter how you did last month, I think that you can always take lessons away from that and try to do better. And myself, I have a lot to work on. You know, I was really disciplined the majority of the month, but really got undisciplined at the end of the month. And I'll go into my trades in a sec, but before I do, I want to congratulate several students, hardworking students, cruise control, you know, 13,000 in profits on the month and surpassed 23,000, both best. Um, and he's also messaging me and challenge. Chat. He's like, I've never made this much. Like this is getting crazy. It's just the start, man. You know, I, I love that a, you know, you see what you can do in one month. Like this is what, any single one of you watching can do okay all it takes is one good trade one good week one good month then eventually one good year but it, you got to start on the right process and you know cruise control has been a hard-working student for a while now but only now after he's studied enough after you know he's kind of getting in his groove is he really profiting and you know to to really do this you know, kind of six figure mentality in one month is awesome. And this is just the start. So I'm really excited to see what cruise control can do. If you see him in the challenge chat, please congratulate him. Leave a comment below and congratulate him because it's not just about, you know, the millionaire students, it's about the upcoming millionaire students. And if he continues on this path, he will be a millionaire. I know, I know it's early, you know, but I've seen this happen with student after student after student. And the cool thing is you guys get in a groove with your trading and I'm in a groove with my teaching. So I see what students need. This is kind of the beautiful thing about having so many millionaire students, not to brag, but to see what the right path is. And when you make your first, you know, 13,000 in a month, and he's having, you know, his, I think he had his first like thousand dollar plus day, like it's just starting. And then when you get in that groove, you stay in that groove. Obviously don't get too cocky cruise control. If you ever get too cocky, you can lose it. You go right back to zero or, you know, if you're a short seller, potentially even less than zero. But there's also millionaire students, Chris Shunk and his brother, Evan, just hung out with them in Positano. I'm actually going to his brother, Evan's wedding in a few weeks. I'll, I'll probably see Chris there. I'm guessing he'll be there. Um, you know, first seven figure year and he's up to 1.6 million. And, you know, he crossed the million dollars right during the summer, which is pretty cool. But a third of his profit and loss has been made in the last few months. So this is what you guys have to understand. When you're on, it adds up and it's seemingly unbelievable. Okay, so I want you to get inspired by Cruz and Chris and so many other top students who are nailing it. I know most people, you know, aren't at that level yet, but this is what happens after you study long enough and it can happen to you. It can happen to anybody. It's whoever wants it. Okay, actually leave a comment, you know, congratulate Cruise Control, but also leave a comment and say, I will make November the best month ever. Write that down, say it out loud, believe it, and then, you know, put in the time and effort to actually make it true. Chris and Cruz, they've been studying so much. I see everyone's stats on how much you guys study, the DVDs, the video lessons. Um, you know, if you're in the challenge chat, you see who participates, who's putting in the time every day. This money isn't random. This isn't the lotto. This isn't one in a million shot. This is hard ass work studying finding patterns that work for you, and then rinse and repeat, okay? There's a very clear and distinct process here. So whether cruise control, first 20,000, Chris Shunk, I mean, he made 13,000 in a day, and that wasn't even his best day. He was having 30, 40,000, $50,000 days. He made 300,000 on the month. This is awesome when, you know, people tweet this, and I, I retweet it back to back, so you can see the beginning of a successful trading career, and you can see more, you know, experienced trader, but it's the same process. Both are in my challenge. I'll link the challenge. Any single one of you can join the challenge. But even if you join the challenge, are you going to watch the video lessons, the DVDs and the webinars? 
You know, Jack Kellogg gave a webinar yesterday. I gave a webinar yesterday. If you're in the challenge, did you tune into both? We both had very good lessons. Um, we both had a, you know, a, a red day yesterday. It happens. I'll go into my trades in a second, but I do want to congratulate, you know, more students. It's not just, you know, a few, it's, it's getting overwhelming. I could make a two hour video if I wanted to just focus on every student, but cruise control, obviously this was earlier, you know, 12,000. Um, and he actually made like another thousand apparently after hours or close to it. Andrew 5,000 on the month, Dustin 3,400 on the month and Hertz 2,700 on the month. Again, I know most people are like, Tim, this isn't big money. These guys are in the challenge chat every single day. They're putting in so much time. Why not just get a normal job? These are kind of like normal job type numbers. The difference is they're all just beginning in their path, okay? And the fact that Cruise Control made 12,000, 13,000 on the month, he continues, that's 30,000, it's 50,000, it's 100,000 on the month. I know it sounds crazy, but all of my millionaire students started like this and they didn't just, you know, make money. Like Jack Kellogg gave a great webinar, what was it, two or three weeks ago, which all you challenge students should watch. I think it was three weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? I don't even know. But he talked about how he lost 20,000 his first 20 months. Like, let me just show you this real quick. I, I need to get you guys having the right perspective. I, I took a screenshot as I was watching his webinar and it's been amazing hanging out with him. You know, he has this new election indicator, which we just presented the other night and he's been on fire. Why is this not loading? Too much to do. Where was it? So this is Jack now, you know, on the, like just for October, he's making, you know, 30,000, 20,000, 40,000, 50,000 in a day. Okay. And this is awesome. He had, I think a $350,000 month, you know, mad props to Jack. He's, he's worked so hard. But at the same time, he also gave a webinar the other day. Why does this not load? Like this was him. He woke up at 2 a.m. Some of you guys should be getting up at 2, 3, 4 in the morning if you really want it. I'm not saying it's easy. I've been trading from Africa. Why is this not loading? Come on, man. I took a screenshot from one of his webinars. All right, I'm glad I paused that video because that just took a while to go back and find this. It was nearly a month ago, but he gave... I really thought it was like two weeks ago. This is how off I am. It's pretty crazy. Um, this was his webinar that he gave on October 7th. So challenge students, go back and watch the archive webinar. But Jack might be making 20, 30, 40, 50,000 in a day now. But this was the beginning of his journey, okay? 2017, not that long ago. And he was losing, you know, like $1,000. His capital, this is pretty funny. Uh, how do I move this? It's not funny, but it's it's funny to see how far he's come. You know, he had $10,000 basically to his name, okay? And he's down and he's losing like 1,800 of it. So he's losing like 20%. And then look at this. This was his month back then in 2017. This was just seven years ago. And I know it, it's a lot has happened in the world in seven years, but Jack has really learned a lot and he's showing his spreadsheets. Look at him. He's losing $700 on the month. Okay, here's another month. He's losing $600 on the month. So many people are doing this right now and they're like, oh, trading is frustrating. I don't get it. You have to put in the time. You have to have the negative $600, $700 months. Okay, here's another month. The, your entire month, you're studying. He's trading almost every day and he's losing $1,000. And he paid, you know, several thousand for the challenge too. So he's just losing. But that is how you learn. He's not just giving money to anybody. It's not just money like gone into the wind. It's market tuition. You have to learn from your mistakes, okay? And you know, these are just a few students, but I want you to understand that even the best traders lose. Myself, I'm not the best trader, but I really screwed up to end the month. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy trading. You know, challenge students, you know I went into it really in detail so watch that webinar i gave on october 31st if you didn't watch it already but you know evgm i fell in love with the the ai news with google it was a solid press release and it just could not bounce like this happens sometimes where oh i was watching amazon earnings uh congrats to amazon on taking over the world you know this was the the spike with google ai 
and the thing spiked from 250 to five in literally two minutes. And then what did it do? It, it, you know, it came down to three and then it bounced up to four and then it faded all day long. Okay, so I fell in love with the news. I liked this spike and I tried to dip by it in here. The only thing I did right was cut losses. That's the only thing I did right. I was just dead wrong. But sometimes, you know, you're going to be biased based on a press release. Obviously, you shouldn't be, but, you know, we're humans. That, that happens. And then AMIX, you know, this was just <sighs> undisciplined. Like the, the last day of the month sometimes gets me where I should just trade smaller. But I, I like, you know, it's called window dressing. You want to finish the month on a strong note. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not necessarily like a, I'm. I'm not judged by my my own trading. You know, teachers are those who can't do. And actually, I find that many students actually like it when I screw up and then I talk about the lessons so that you can like learn from them. I'm just not happy with this. AMIX, this wasn't a huge loss. It was just an undisciplined trade. And it doesn't look like much in the chart now. But I was buying into this mess. You know, they had positive cancer news in four minutes it spiked from 10 up to 23 22 so i like this initial spike i'm dip buying it right near the open it's very very choppy and my whole plan was to buy it near the bottom of the range and sell it to the top of the range the top of the range was like 16 and a half the bottom of the range was like 14 and a half okay so i didn't get the exact bottom of the range i got in at like 15 and a half but i thought that it could get back to 16 and a half and potentially even break out, you know? And this is where I got greedy because I wanted to finish the month strong. I wanted a big profit. I wanted to be the hero. And I got greedy because I've got it in the 15s somewhere in this mess right here near the open. And in this one minute candle, it doesn't look like much now, but it actually touched 17, but only for a few seconds. And then it came down to the 14s. Okay, so it did break the, the range here in the 16s, made a new high, but then did nothing. And worse than nothing, it actually broke the low range. And I was, you know, fortunately, I had only had a small position. But this was a terrible, terrible trade on my part. Not the biggest dollar loss, but the fact that I could have sold it in the 16s. I said I only wanted to make 50 to 75 cents a share. But I saw it break the day high, and I got greedy. And I was like, screw making, I, I was up a dollar a share. You know, this would have been a $700 gain. The difference of a $700 gain versus a $700 loss, purely due to my greed. And I didn't take it in the 16s. Obviously, some people will say, well, Tim, it did go to the 17s. Yes, but it also dropped so quick, okay? When you go in with a plan on these choppy stocks, you need to have your orders ready. And I should have had my sell order ready. I should have stuck with my plan, should have, would have, could have, but I didn't. I got greedy and then it dropped. And again, the only thing I did well was cut losses. At least I'm good at cutting losses, right? <laughs> like, but this is a, a, a silly, you know, I'm gonna be wrong sometimes about an AI play, especially when it's, you know, moving quick, but this is a silly nearly $2,000 loss for reasons of lack of discipline. And AMIX should have, could have, would have been a profit. I did dip by it again and I made back some, but like, this is, this is just irresponsible. This is newbie type stuff where you get greedy. Veteran traders have a plan. They stick with it. They take the single. I got greedy. I, in my mind's eye, I saw it going 17, 18, 19. I wanted to ride one of these things for once. I usually sell too quick. <laughs> and, and then I'm reminded, this is why I sell too quick. This happened also later. What was the stock that was breaking out? Oh, BFRI. And I was giving a live challenge webinar. Oh, not BRFI. BFRI. I was giving a challenge webinar and I was like, remember to sell into strength. Remember to sell into strength when it broke above two. And lots of students, I forget their names, but they were in challenge chat. You can watch the webinar from October 31st. Several students sold. They were buying in the 170s, 180s, selling, you know, two, 205, 210. And you got to sometimes sell into strength, especially in this market where these spikes are fleeting. Um, so this is just bad, bad trades. And then really to, to cap off my sloppy day and sloppy month. Yes, I'm still green on the month. Yes, you know, I'm, I'm solid. You know, yes, like my students crushed it this month. But this was a terrible, terrible trade. This was root. This was me, you know, getting greedy and FOMO because I saw it in here in the 40s. 
challenge chat. You guys were talking about it in the 50s and the 60s. Got all the way up to 120. And, the, you know, this is a short squeeze. This is an earnings winner, whatever you want to call it. But it's dipping here. And I, I don't want to really, you know, take it here. It's up so much, you know. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I don't want to buy it here because like 100, it's falling off a cliff. But, you know, when it comes down here, I'm thinking, wow, wait a minute. This is like 80-ish. I mean, this was 120. So I'm buying this like 30% off the high. It's the afternoon and I'm just trying to make, what did I say? You know, goals to make five to 10%. And I'm just, you know, trying to to get a little bit of the bounce. And I just kind of entered because I wanted to finish the, the month on a strong note and I wanted to have profits. And again, this is greed, okay? This is freaking greed. This is the epitome of greed. And this is just so stupid to, I think this might've been like one of my worst losses on the month. Um, and it was because I, I wanted to just, I, I like, I wanted, I wanted profits, you know, I wanted to kind of like cheat the system. Like if you, if you stick with the system and you let the best trades come to you, you know, Jay Ray is another student. I, I should have congratulated him earlier. Sorry, Jay Ray. Like I said, there's sometimes too many students who are, who are crushing it. I did a tweet for Jay Ray. Where was it? There we go. Jay Ray said 22,000 on the month, all by taking a trade by trade, letting the trades come to me. Okay. Me taking root here was not letting the trade come to me. It's me being like, oh, it's down 25, 30% off its highs. Let me try to like, you know, sneak in a little bounce play. And I only had a few hundred shares, right? So like you get a little undisciplined. You're like, well, it's moving fast. Let me try this. And it just dropped so quickly. And I lost two grand for literally no reason. So I'm, I'm frustrated with my own trading. You know, it did actually bounce, but the afternoon bounces are tough. Um, I think it got up to what, 82, 81, 82, 83. So I was, I was in, you know, here and I, I wasn't, I didn't obviously time it right. So there was a little bounce, but again, it's a trade I should never have even taken. You know, backside of these big spikes, these big squeezes hasn't really been working after afternoon trades. Dip buys haven't really been working for that great, you know, just unnecessary. So kind of bittersweet end of the month for me, like I said, you know, solid month of trading but really l nasty last day. And I got to learn. I got to do better. I, it's easy for me to just to retreat and say, you know, teachers are those who can't do. But again, you can learn from my mistakes. And I think it's important to note that this isn't the first time this happens. This happened at the end of last month too. You know, I'm, I'm, I, it's so stupid. Like I, I've been doing this for a quarter of a century. I should know this by now. But the last day of the month, like you shouldn't try to just like, you know, you want to put like a little cherry on top of your trading. It's like, it's just a mental thing, right? And the sad reality is that you don't need to force trades. You know, you, you need to actually wait for the trades to come to you. Um, as Jay Ray said, my students get it. But this was my last, la the end of the last month in September. And I had a solid trade uh, on UXIN. So I was like, wow, awesome. Like I'm hot right now. And then I, right when I got greedy, you know, loss, loss, loss. And my, my good gains were wiped out by the losses. And XHG could have been much worse again. The only thing I did right was, was cut losses there. And then I had like one little, one little win to end the, the day. But really sloppy, the last day of trading for me. Because I tried to put the cherry on top. You know, trading is, is counterintuitive. You can't say, hey, I want to work harder. I want to prove to myself that I'm going to really succeed by trading more. Okay? You have to let the best trades come to you. J. Ray gets it. My students get it. I need to do better. So this is my pledge. I'm going to do better in November. You tell me how did you do in October. Leave a comment and tell me if you're going to make November better too. We can always improve. We can always learn from our mistakes, but I got to do better. You know, it's, I know it's useful for you guys to see me screw up and let me talk about it, but I, I, it's just frustrating. Bigger props to Cruz, Chris, and so many other students. Let's get it in November, guys. Cheers. See you in chat.